Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we are going to be introduced to microcontrollers. So, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this particular session. In this session, we will understand the microcontrollers. Now, in the previous session, when we learned about the microprocessors, we also learned that these are called mu p. And there we had the detailed view. And we also talked about the simplified view. And from the simplified view, we learned that all these sections cumulatively form this chip. Today, we are going to learn about the microcontrollers. Now, microcontrollers are also known as mu c. And the reason why these are called mu c is actually the same reason why we call the microprocessors as mu p. Now, coming to the microcontrollers, these reside at the heart of our day to day instruments or appliances which we use. We can take electric chimney, coffee maker, microwave oven, washing machines as a few examples where microcontrollers are used. For better understanding, let's take the washing machine as an instance for our illustration. Now, we all know how these washing machines are used. Generally, we load our washables in this particular cabinet. Then using these interfaces, that is these buttons, we instruct the machine to wash our clothes. Now, if the washing machine also has the drying facility, after the washing is done, it will also dry up our clothes, right? Remember this process? This will help us understand the microcontrollers in an easier way. So, in microcontrollers, we also have the microprocessor chip. Now, this microprocessor chip is not as advanced as we use in general purpose computers. This is a basic microprocessor chip. Now, with this, we will also have a memory interface. Now, why this memory is needed? Try to understand this. We have got several buttons on this particular appliance. Now, the functionalities of these buttons are different from one another. That means each of these buttons are different ways to give instructions to this particular machine. So those instructions are to be stored somewhere and thus the memory. Apart from this, with the microprocessor, we also have the timers interfaced. Now, how these timers are used? Now, specifically, these are used to generate delays. Now, let me explain how the delays will work. Say we have instructed our washing machine to wash our clothes. Now, based on the number of clothes that we have loaded in here, assume the washing machine is going to take 10 minutes to wash them all. So, that delay will be decided by the timers. Coming up next, we also have the interfacing circuits. Using these, these interfaces, that is these buttons which are on top of the machine, will interact with the microprocessor. And all of these components are placed together on a single chip, which we are calling the microcontroller. Try to understand the difference between microprocessor and the microcontroller. When we talk about the microprocessor, it is a single chip. However, when we are talking about the microcontroller, on the chip itself, we have a basic microprocessor the memory to store the instructions, the timers, and the interfacing circuits. And remember, the microprocessor that we use inside the microcontrollers are the basic ones, not as advanced as the microprocessors that we use in general purpose computers. Now, in the previous session, we also talked about the syllabus. And there we saw, we have got 10 different chapters in our syllabus. And specifically, in the chapter 10, which we have named as support chips of microprocessor 8085, here, we are going to talk about the microcontroller for 8085, that is, the 8051 microcontroller. And while we will be discussing about 8051 microcontroller, we will begin the discussion with the main features of Intel 8051. Then we will learn about the functional blocks of Intel 8051 which will be followed by program and data memory structure, 
Thereafter, we will learn about the various addressing modes in 8051 and we will also learn about the instruction set of 8051. We will also talk about some programming examples in there. Now, not only these, we will also learn about advanced topics of 8051 starting off with interrupt structure, the timers, the serial interface, structure and operation of ports, and power saving modes of 8051. So, I hope how we are going to deal with the microcontrollers in this particular syllabus is also clear to you now. So, in this session, we covered the topic the understanding of microcontrollers. All right, people, that will be all for this session. From the next session onwards, we will talk about the evolution of computers. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.